Good morning, villagers. How are you today? Um, so this is not our regular scheduled programming. Um, we are having a major blizzard here in Utah in different parts. It's been interesting. Um, we've had a couple of our employees messaging in and telling us, you know, how much snow they have at our, their house. But we have a lot of snow in Brigham City where the store is. And so Fran decided to close the store today and to just have everyone be safe and stay at home. So our normal village vibes is not happening. But I thought I would jump on here really quick to just let you know that we know it's Tuesday. We know it's supposed to be village vibes, but... Oh, it's, it's bad news. So I thought I'm joining you from my home sewing room today and hoping that with your, with you being in your home sewing rooms, that you can maybe get a little bit of sewing done on this snowy day. It's spring break for my kids. Um, I know some people have a snow day today because of how much snow they have in Utah, but, um, Anyway, so I'm just gonna jump on and see if anyone comments. I have to look at it on my computer, just in case anyone comments. Um, I have to look at it on oh, my computer. Oh, 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 so sorry. Okay, um, so I thought I'd show you what I'm going to be sewing today, hopefully, if my family lets me. So a few months ago, I participated in a mini series sew along with Juicy Juice and Allison Glass. And we made all of these four and a half inch blocks. Well, you could make them different sizes, but I chose to make them four and a half. So, and they're all paper pieced. And, you know, some of them have like 80 pieces of fabric. Um, let's see, flip them around. So they were really fun to make. I really enjoyed them. Some of them took a little bit longer than others. Um, this is one of my very favorites. I really enjoyed making that one. Um, kind of a flower and a rainbow. So um, part of the so long this year, uh, they didn't require you to do a finished project with all of your blocks to qualify for finishing the sew along. So you just had to finish your blocks. But um, I saw this project that someone posted of how they used their blocks. And so I am attempting to turn these blocks into this. This pattern is the Catch All Caddy 2.0 from um, Biani. <clears throat> And if you don't know, um, Laurie, one of our fabulous employees and teachers at Village Dry Goods, teaches a Biani class every month, almost every month. And you can sign up to bring whatever Biani pattern you want to bring, and she will help you make it. So I actually might need to sign up for her class. But um, anyway, so... I, I'm not a Biani expert and also I'm doing it very different than the pattern because I'm trying to place my specific blocks in specific places. So, um, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm to the point where I need to just sew some of these together, make them the right size and quilt them and then I could start. So I'm at the very beginning of this process. So maybe in a few village vibes, I will, um, have to send you guys an update. So the bad news is the store is closed today and you don't get to see Fran. The good news is though, we were supposed to announce our winner for taking the baby picture quiz. And um, I know a few people struggled and I know a few people, we may have made it sound too difficult. It's really easy and it's really fun. It's just, it's just interesting to see all the baby pictures from people and what they look like now. So um, next week on April 11th, we will be announcing that. So you can go ahead and have one more week to take the quiz. If you haven't had a chance to do that already, I will repost the link on this video. And I will also post um, links to these things that I talked about today. 
So on our snow post um, today on Facebook saying that the store was closed, I think you guys can post pictures. So um, go post a picture there and tell us what you're sewing today. Um, tell us what's under your needle, either in your lap or on your sewing machine or on your long arm or whatever, cross stitch, knitting, crocheting, quilting, piecing. Oh, what else do we like to do? Rug hooking. I'm trying to think. All the things, applique, all the different things that you could be doing. So I hope you get to do something. So we miss you and we will miss seeing you in our store today. Um, but stay safe, stay warm, and I hope you get some sewing time. And we'll see you next week on the 11th. Bye-bye, everybody.